pay careful attention to what you're doing right now. We're so used to multitasking, here we are monotasking. Because there's one thing that really is the big mystery in life, something we really do have to clear up, and that's our own mind. As long as this problem is not solved, then everything is going to be a problem. Once this problem is solved, then other problems may still exist, but they don't weigh on the mind. So try to give the mind as much attention as you can. Give it priority. This is what the bottom line here, here is at the monastery. That's why we have a place like this. In the world outside, the mind gets shunted off to the side, because there's other work that needs to be done. And the state of your mind is, is not something that your boss is going to be interested in, or your fellow workers will be interested in, unless you start blowing up. But otherwise, they, they don't really care about how skillful you are in your private life. But here the, the care is about what's the state of your mind? How well are you looking after yourself? Because nobody else can look after your mind, and if you have abandoned it, then it's going to be totally lost. So as you go through the day and you're doing your chores and you find that your mind is wandering off to something where it shouldn't be, just stop for a minute. Say, what am I here for? I'm here for the mind. The chores are secondary the mind comes first. This doesn't mean that we don't do the chores, it's simply that we do them as part of our meditation, as part of training the mind. There are a lot of good qualities that can be developed this way. I was reading recently a monk who was saying, you don't want to do concentration because when you do concentration you have to have goals and you have to have aims. And when you have aims you have a sense of self. Or if you sit around aimlessly there's no need for a sense of self, so that's the wise choice. Well, of course, wanting to be aimless, that's a pretty strong sense of self right there. And then if it hides behind the idea of not-self, if it dresses itself up, as something that's dharma, and you get fooled by it, there's not much chance for the practice. We do have our aims, we do have our goals. This is what why the Buddha paired the word dhamma with atta, A-T-T-H-A, -T -T -H -A, the goal, the purpose of what, why we're here. And the, the goal and the purpose is to get the mind trained. And however much effort has to go into that, it's all effort well spent. Because this is the big issue in life. The mind is causing suffering for itself, even though it doesn't want to. That's because it's not paying careful attention. That's why, it, even though all our efforts for happiness are there, we do them, we put in the effort, still they many times result in suffering. It's because we're not paying careful attention enough. So give a lot of attention to your mind. Take advantage of this opportunity while we have it. Because it doesn't always come along. <laughs>